Good morning, first graders, and welcome to your read aloud for today, Monday. Ms. Nava and I have picked a really fun and interesting book for us to read today, and it's called Wanted, Criminals of the Animal Kingdom. And so as we go through these different animals that are wanted, I want you to put on your detective hat so we can learn a little bit more about these animals and see what this book is all about. Let's jump right in. Daily Animal. Crime wave hits the animal kingdom. Creatures all over the world are turning to a life of crime, chaos, and corruption. Detective X is on the case to shake up the animal kingdom and bring these villains to justice. With a pile of rap sheets and a handful of clues, can Detective X rid the animal kingdom of these most wanted criminals? Well, there's only one way to find out. We're going to have to go to the next page and see what happens. But before we do, there was a phrase in there that I wanted to go over. Uh, they said that, they, that Detective X has a pile of rap sheets. And we'll get to see what a rap sheet is shortly. But it's essentially a research sheet that has a lot of information about these animals and these suspects. So it'll have their habitat, their um, lifespan, how long they live. Um, it'll have their adaptations, a picture of them. There's a lot of really cool information that they put on the rap sheets. And for part of our activity after the book, we're going to make a rap sheet about ourselves. And I can't wait to show you mine. So let's see what these rap sheets are all about. And let's see what these animals are up to. Miss Jagged Jaws. And Miss Jagged Jaws is wanted for illegal fishing. Let's see what it says under criminal activity. This scary looking dome has been using some shady methods to get her dinner. She skulks around the deep sea, packing her own built-in fishing rod with a light at the end of it. Dangling the lure in front of her mouth, she quietly waits in dark waters for an innocent fish to swim towards her swim, and swim towards the light. And then, gulp, that fish is a goner and it's not even fishing season. And so here on this side, we get our first look at a rap sheet. So here we have, it says rap sheet at the top, and there are a bunch of different categories of information that they give us. So the aliases, that's different names or nicknames that this fish goes by. So Miss Jagged Jaws is also known as an angler fish. It has the animal type or species, which is a fish. Distinguishing features, which is also like adaptations. So Miss Jagged Jaws has a lighted lure, sharp teeth, and a big mouth known to eat that this section is for the diet of this fish and miss jagged jaws eats other fish as we can see in this picture here and this picture on the top right lifespan which is how long this fish lives and miss jagged jaws can live up to 24 years sightings so this is where it's been seen in its habitat. And it says in the deep dark seas around the world, there have been no witnesses. And wow, three previous arrests. And it says FYI, for your information, the offending anglerfish is known to be female since the smaller males don't hunt. Instead, they attach to a female with their small hooked teeth and feed off the female's blood for their entire lives. Holy cow. That's pretty crazy. Well, I hope you got a good idea of the rap sheet and also Miss Jagged Jaws. 
let's keep moving along and let's see what other fish we are going to investigate today. All right, friends. So now we have Big Bad Mama, who's wanted for bad parenting. So let's see what it says under criminal activity. This mama bird is too lazy to build her own nest. So she secretly lays her eggs in a neighbor's nest. She lets the other mother do all the work to hatch the eggs. And if that's not bad enough, when the baby cuckoos hat when the baby cuckoo hatches, it bumps off the other eggs by pushing them right out of the nest. That way, it gets all the space and all the grub, all the food those babies don't want to share. Shameful, like mother, like chick. And let's see what this big bad mama has on her rap sheet. So it says some other aliases or names are the common cuckoo or the cuculus canoris. Wow, that's a fancy science name for this bird. The animal type, uh, as we mentioned, it's a bird. The distinguishing features, the striped belly, which you can see over here. And then on the other page too, you can see the cool striped belly. In its diet, it's known to eat insects, spiders, worms, and fuzzy caterpillars. It can live up to 13 years. It's usually seen in marshes, fields, and forests in Europe, Asia, and as well as Africa. Uh, and let's see, it says, hundreds of angry mother birds have been witnesses to the crimes of this big bad mama. Well, let's see what our next criminal is up to. And now we have bubbles. And I know usually when we hear the word bubbles, we think of good things. But in this case, bubbles is the name of a criminal snapping shrimp. And let's see what this snapping shrimp has been up to. Don't underestimate this dame. She makes a whole lot of trouble for such a little shrimp. When she's hankering for a bite, she just snaps. Out of her larger claw pops a bubble so loud, so hot, so fierce, that it stuns and can even knock off any nearby prey. Talk about going out with a bang. No wonder we've been getting noise complaints with her on the loose. Let's see what this rap sheet for Bubbles has to say so we could learn a little bit more about Bubbles. It says it's known as the snapping shrimp or the pistol shrimp. It also has its scientific name here, which looks pretty hard to pronounce. So I'm going to skip that one. It's animal type. It is known as a crustacean. Distinguishing features, one larger deadly claw. So look, it has a small claw and then this large claw that helps make that snapping bubble. It's known to eat fish, other crustaceans and worms. It can live up to four years. Uh, it's seen in warm tropical waters uh, in the Western Atlantic Ocean. And, uh, and that's about it. Let's see what it says in the For Your Information section on this post-it note. It says, you won't find snapping shrimps in aquariums since the sonic blast from their larger claw would easily crack glass. Wow. That's crazy. So the snap would be so loud that it could, it could break glass. Whoa, I, I wouldn't mess with bubbles after hearing that. Let's do just a few more. Ah, so here we don't just have one animal, we have multiple that, are, that work together. So let's see what the lava mob has been up to and why we're investigating them. So under criminal activity, it says, over 40 million red crabs on Christmas Island wouldn't be a problem if they would just stay in their forest homes. But every autumn, they head to the water to breed, 
swarming across the roads, looking like a wave of molten lava. And look over here at this picture of them crossing the road. That does look like lava. Uh, and they don't use crosswalks either. They just go right across the street, as we can see here. It's high time we break up this gang of scoundrels and get them into traffic school before chaos takes over the island. I agree. I think traffic school would do the, the lava mob some good. But let's find out what's on their rap sheet. So it says that they are known as the Christmas Island Red Crabs. They are a crustacean, just like our last animal. Uh, that are distinguishing features, their bright red shell, which is on display in both pictures, very bright red. They're known to eat anything, so they don't distinguish. They, If they're hungry, they will eat whatever comes their way, whether it's fallen leaves, flowers, dead animals, or garbage. And even with that crazy diet, they can live up to 12 years. They live mostly on Christmas Island, which is off the, Cape, off the coast of Australia, and uh, also in the Indian Ocean. Let's see what it says on their FYI uh, post-it note. These crabs' eggs hatch in the ocean, and the babies live in the water for about a month. Then they march for nine straight days into the forest without being shown the way. These young offenders don't use crosswalks either. Wow. I'm really impressed that these baby Christmas Island red crabs, they march for nine days from the water to the forest, and nobody showed them the way. They just know how to get there. Now, I really like the name of this criminal, Phony Capone. That's silly. So let's see what Phony is up to. He's wanted for mischief. It says, This chap isn't afraid of fibbing to get what he wants. If he sees too many monkeys at the fruit trees, he hollers, danger, and they all scram and spread out. Then the little liar takes all the fruit loot for himself. This fella is messing with uh, trouble by crying wolf. And one of these Excuse me. And one of these days, there's going to be real danger. And who will believe him then? It's time he stopped monkeying around. I agree. So let's learn. Let's go to his rap sheet and let's learn a little bit more about our friend, Phony Capone. His aliases, he's also known as a tufted capuchin. And it's a type of monkey. They're just one of their biggest distinguishing features. Something that makes them look different in adaptation is their dark furry cap up here. And then also their sideburns that they have. They're known to eat fruit, nuts, insects, frogs, and lizards. They can live up to 45 years. Wow. And they live in the jungles across South America. That's really cool. I didn't know that tufted capuchin monkeys could live for 45 years. That's a long life. All right, just two more. Here we have the backyard burglar. And the backyard burglar is wanted for destruction of property. Let's learn a little bit more about their criminal activity. It says, this little caterpillar is a master of disguise. The problem is he's taking his costumes from other people's gardens and destroying their yards in the process. With a dab of spit here and there, he sticks the plucked petals to his back so he looks like an innocent flower. No one knows how a sweet kid like this got caught up in such dirty mischief but he needs to be taught some rules before another garden bites the dust. And so look at this picture here and the picture above me here. You can see how it took the leaf petals or the flower petals and it put it on its back. So it looks more like a, uh, like a flower or a plant 
to other animals so it can disguise itself. And now let's jump to the rap sheet so we could learn a little bit more about the backyard burglar. It's also known as a camouflaged looper. It's an insect. It's usually covered in flower petals. It's an adaptation it's learned so that it can blend in and hide from prey. I mean, hide from predators and then also hide from prey so that they can find food more easily. They're known to eat flowers. Uh, their lifespan is up to 11 months and they're seen across North America. And here for our last one, we have Frogsicle. Frogsicle is wanted for faking her own death. So let's read the criminal activity and find out a little bit more about how she fakes her own death. I'm really curious. So it says, you can't trust this fickle frog. First she's dead, then she's not. Every winter, she stops her heart and lets herself freeze solid. You'd think she really croaked. But when the long, cold winter ends, she thaws out and carries on like nothing crazy ever happened. If there isn't a law about faking the big sleep, there should be. It's a cruel and cold-hearted trick to play on loved ones and on detectives. And so here on its rap sheet, let's see a little bit more about this type of frog, our frogsicle friend. So frogsicle is a wood frog, which is an amphibian. It has a small brown body and a dark eye mask, as we can see from its picture here. It's known to eat insects, worms, and slugs. It can live up to five years and it can be seen in Canada, Alaska, and Northeastern America. Wow, that's really interesting. Oh, wow. So if you look over here, it seems like we've been really good detectives today because I see all of our animal friends, or should I say animal criminals, in the jail. So really nice job. It seems like we caught them. So the case is closed for now. Studying rap sheets and following the clues paid off. The animal kingdom is safe again, but a detective's work is never done. Detective X's next case will be extra tricky, and he might need just need your help to find this menace to society, and that is Cranky Pants. And look at him right here. And he is refusing to go, a bed, go to bed. And with that, our book is over. But there's much more to do beyond reading the book. All right. So now that we finished our book, learned a lot about some very cool and different animals that we hadn't encountered yet, and learned about rap sheets and what goes into a rap sheet, and what we put on a rap sheet, I wanted to show you all my rap sheet so that way you could see what I put and maybe use it as an example as you make your rap sheet for today's writing assignment. So first, I'll show you my page. So I have my name, Jamie Everett Zasloff. I'm 26 years old. My birthday is August 22nd. I live in an apartment in Manhattan that is my habitat. I like to eat hamburgers and hot dogs. That's my diet. Do any of you like hamburgers and hot dogs? They are my favorite. And lastly, I like to play basketball. That is my favorite sport. So just take a look. I'll hold it up for you. And I'm really excited to see what you come up with for yours. Oh, and before I forget, I want to show you my self-portrait and let me know what you think. All right, friends. So with that, I will leave you. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I hope you enjoy making your own rap sheet about you and your life. And I cannot wait to see what you come up with and what you draw, because I know all of you are wonderful 
artists. All right, friends. Bye.